Electrical Safety Portable Electrical Tools Objectives Inspection of Portable Electric Tools and Using Portable Electric Tools Inspection Visually check equipment for loose parts, deformed or missing parts, damaged jackets or insulation, inspect for internal defects as indicated by pinched or crushed outer jackets, and also perform inspections prior to beginning each shift. Should note that you should remove and tag defective equipment from service immediately. Also, you should visually inspect the plug and receptacle mating configuration before connecting. Flexible cords with grounding type equipment must have an equipment grounding conductor. And you should never remove or alter the cord's grounding pin. Note, electrical equipment and cords to be used near water must be approved for this use. Using portable electric equipment. Proper handling of cords. Don't raise or lower equipment by its cord. Don't unplug the equipment by pulling on its cord. And don't staple or fasten the cord so as to damage the outer jacket. Plugging and unplugging cord and cord connected equipment and flexible cords. You need to ensure that your hands are dry. Never pull the plug out by the cord and adapters that cannot interrupt the continuity of the grounding connection. Plugging, unplugging cord and cord connected equipment and flexible cords. Handle cords and equipment with insulating protective equipment if the condition of the connection could provide a conducting path to the employee. An example is when the cord connector is wet. Never use an adapter with a missing grounding pin. Adapters cannot interrupt the continuity of the grounding connection. As a note, secure locking type connectors after making connection. If you have any questions regarding portable electric tools, please contact David Farrell, TRIASM Safety Director at dfarrell at triasm.com. The following page includes a five question quiz. Please choose the correct response for each question. Send your responses to dfrail at triasm.com or text 920-472-3092. Please include your name. An example of a response would be 1A, 2A, 3B, 4B, 5A and the person's name who sent this response, for example, is John Doe. Thank you. Quiz. When inspecting electrical tools, check all of the following, such as loose parts, damaged insulation, and missing parts. A, true, B, false. Two, the ground pin should be removed prior to using an extension cord. A, true, B, false. Three, you should never raise or lower portable tools by its cord. A, true, B, false. Four, the best way to unplug a cord is to pull on the cord. A, true, B, false. Five, only approved electrical tools and cords are used when working near water. A, true, B, false.